Hey, it's me, and welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday, and today in this video, I'm doing my updated Top 10 Jonas Brothers songs. Now, I do have an original Top 10 Jonas Brothers songs video, which I will link down below if you want to see that video. You know, it's a very old video, but I have, but, um... Uh, just in case you guys haven't seen that first one, I will put the link in the description box down description box down below. I do apologize. My tongue is a little bit tied tied today, so I'm having a little bit of a hard time talking. Anyway, so I found some new Jonas Brothers songs that I really, really like. And for those who don't know what the Jonas Brothers are, they are a band. And I used to really like them when I was in high school. School and I had a lot of friends in high school that really liked the Jonas Brothers as well. And they do have some pretty good songs, and I found some more that I really liked. And if you guys like the Jonas Brothers, please let me know down in the comments. Bleh, please let me know down in the comments below if you guys what your favorite songs are. And I do apologize for my tongue. I probably cannot talk today, so I, if I'm not making very much sense, I'm gonna try my best, and I apologize. So, guys, again, if I'm not really talking, thinking that well, but I'm gonna try my best to talk as clear as I can. And I'm going to get started. So number one on my list have to be Hey Baby. I really like Hey Baby because it's a really catchy song. I like the beat and the electric guitar. It's a pretty sad song because cause, um, the guy is being mistreated by his lover and he's not understanding why she is mistreating him. Yeah, treating him and he and he wants to leave her for the way she is treating him, which is kind of sad. But I do like the beat. I have to admit, it's got a pretty good beat to it. Number two on my list would have to be What Did I Do to Your Heart. Now, this is another sad song. This one, um, in this song, you have a song there. The man is ta talking about how he ta is not understanding why his lover is crying and she is acting so strange, like acting like he's abusing her when he is not even abusing her and he's not understanding why she's upset with him. Him and him and he just wants to, and he's been doing everything he can to treat her with, with respect, but all she does is cry. Number three on my list would have to be a little bit longer. I really like this song because this talks about kind of like a breakup and how it long it takes to get over a breakup. God, but it's a pretty sad song, but it's a pretty good song just from the way it's written and how it's good. I mean, how um, it's... Um, it's, okay, so, it's a really good song by the way it is written, and I like the medium beat to it, even though it is a pretty sad song, I just like how it sounds, like, in between the different instruments, like the guitar, the, um, I think there's a little bit of a piano in it, in it too, as well, which is good because I love the piano. Number four, I'm also going to have to be Sucker. One second. Num yeah, number four on my list, I have to be Sucker. Hold on a second. So in this one, um, talks about, um, how, um, the, they fall... Oh, this one talks about how a man falls for a, um, girl. Girl, and uh, he, like, does everything he can for her. Her, like, he will do, like, um, things like dance. He'll, um, he, and he's, like, completely obsessed with her, and he follows her, like, everywhere she goes. And he'll, like, um, go after her. And I, the reason I like this song is because I like the, um the rock beat you get to it and it's a pretty catchy th song it sometimes actually really gets stuck in my head quite a lot uh, which is funny funny and I actually have it stuck in my head right now looking up the lyrics and I just like how it sounds and the way it's like written I think it's just a pretty good song number five on my list have to be please be mine this one is a pretty good one this one talks about how he wants to be lo how um, he wants to be loyal to his lover and um, he'll do everything he can to be with her, and he'll help her, 
and he will take care of her, make sure she's all right, and he'll just do everything for her, and he really, really wants to be with her and spend the rest of his life with her, which I think is very sweet. Number six would have to be 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 Good. Good, so again, I will be looking up the lyrics quite a lot. This one's a pretty good song. I like how it talks about how um, they, how the boy is trying to be good to the girl and be in a relationship with her, and they may try to make a deal like if he's good to her, he'll be, good, she'll be good to him, which I really like because I like people who treat each other equally and kindly instead of like abuse them or hurt them. I hate those people that kind of abuse certain people who are nice to them, them and take advantage of them and hurt them. It's really depressing. I really hate that. It's super sad. Sad. I really like this song for the beat and this, the fast upbeat. It's a pretty fast upbeat song, just the way it's written and the way it sounds. Number seven on my list would have to be Shelf. I like this song because um, this one um, t talks about how how a um, um, man is getting jealous of, okay, so hang on a second. A man who is obsessed with this girl, but she does, but he starts to realize he doesn't love her. I mean, she doesn't love him, and he, and he reject, and he just try moves on, and he goes to move on. Another guy will um will um so another guy and guy will have her, but she wants him even though he's she's rejected rejected him after she realizes that she's rejected him, but he doesn't want her after the way he he's treated um. If she's treated him. I really like those kind of songs that talk about feelings and emotions of somebody being hurt because I really like those kind of art artists who really let that let out their feelings in the music, like Taylor Swift. Number nine, I mean, number oops, number eight on my list would have to be Black Keys. Whoops, sorry. I like this song. It's really good. Good. Um, I like how um, it's kind of like, I remember it being a slow and medium song, like in between. It's not too slow. But um, I really like how it's like in between, it has an in between slow and medium, and it's got like a piano to it, which I really like. And for those who don't know, I'm a big, big fan of the piano. The piano is just one of my favorite instruments to listen to, and I just like the beautiful melody to it. Mel melody to it. Number nine on my list would have to be Can't Have You. This one's a pretty sad song. It is um like this talks about a breakup, how a man and a girl and a woman break up. Break up because the man mistreated the girl and he feels so bad and he does and he felt like he doesn't deserve her for the way he had, he had he had treated her and he feels so guilty for like what she he had done to her and he wants to do everything to get her back and it's a pretty sad song song but um, song and then P again when we all make mistakes um, we learn from them right right so it makes it's a pretty sad song but I really like how it goes and it's a you know it's just the way the beat goes and how it sounds and how it's kind of in a medium and slow 
upbeat, but um, it's like a great, even though it's sad. Number 10 on my list would have to be Poison Ivy. I like this song. This one's a pretty fast song. I, it's a, this one talks about um, how he has um, issues with this one girl girl and he's and they he considers her like poison ivy <laughs> B, which is pretty funny because like ev funny because I think that's pretty funny to describe a girl like poison ivy it's really weird weird like um, he uh, realizes that he's deceiving she's deceiving him and he's like um trying to be find out what's going on and okay so basically I'm sorry I can't talk today so basically he starts he starts realizing that um, his lover is deceiving him and um, he is telling her how he found out what she's been up to up to uh to for her for and describes her like to be poison ivy ivy how everybody hates poison ivy and how awful it is <laughs> well it is and like that's the way she describes him, just the way he treated her. <laughs> or so I guess she's comparing him to, she's compare, he's comparing her to Poison Ivy. Okay, so those are my top ten, updated top ten Jonas Brothers songs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this video was so long, but please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!